Welcome one, welcome all to this unboxing video for the Varla Eagle One scooter. So this is actually not the first scooter that we've done on Blue Monkey Bicycles. We've done at least one other one. But hey, it's their money, so let's go ahead and give it a whirl. So the Varla One Eagle scooter is pretty dope. I think I'm starting on a pretty good foot for scooter stuff because this has two motors, a big battery. I want to say it's 14 amp hours or more. We'll find out when we cut it open dual suspensions, got lights and all that, and it also has some customization points in it as well. So I'm actually pretty excited. Whoop. Let's crack her open, Let's see what we find. All right, so in here we have quite a bit of styrofoam, quite a bit of scooter as well. What is this most likely? The charger. And there's the other charger pieces to it. Because of all that customization, some stickers that I'm sure are going to find a great home. So the handlebars, here's some more caps for the wheel ends. Ooh. Wait, is this thing pretty much assembled? It's really close, really close. We have a multi-tool inside. Cool, a multi-tool. I'll put that in my bin of other multi-tools. All right, here we go. Take that, Mother Earth. All right, so we got the handlebars, little stem cap of styrofoam right there. Yeah, this thing's pretty much almost done. <laughs> this is gonna be great. It looks like it's pretty much fully assembled except for the handlebars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and He-Man pull the whole entire thing out and then we'll go from there. Oh, Ooh, doggy. It's kind of heavy. All right, so out of the box, this is what we got. It's almost completely assembled. We just got to put the handlebars onto the stem and I think that's pretty much it. So let's do that real quick. With this scooter, I'm pretty excited because we're coming in with a lot of value for the money. So this guy is at 1699 bucks right now. And you get a lot of that. You get a huge battery pack, really high speed, we get the dual suspension, dual motors, get the hydraulic. Are these uh, hydraulic mechanical? I think these are the hybrid mechanical hydraulic disc brakes. Let's see, let's figure that guy out. So with the handlebars, I'm gonna put them on in such a way that the cables have plenty of length. And hey, <laughs> I actually like that quite a bit. So Varla has actually left all of these things loose. All the controls are loose and I like that a lot because when I get a bike, I like to customize them. I'll, I'll change out where they are and everything. So this is good. I can actually put this to where I'm gonna be holding my hands instead of having to unscrew them all first and then go from there. And we are gonna cook. Hopefully people don't get upset at us when we blast around because <laughs> I'm gonna have to temper my desire for speed. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and work on the handlebars a little bit. All we gotta do is just take these controls and put them into a place that is a little more useful for my hands and how long they are and everything. So let's go ahead and jump onto the scooter, prop myself up a little bit, and then kind of get the brakes. Brakes are really the most important thing. Get the brakes in a position where they are easy to access for my hands and then tighten down that spot. So. One thing I did notice is that the left hand brake is for the rear, the right hand brake is for the front. So if you are accustomed to motorcycles, you'll be right at home. But if you are accustomed to American bicycles, it will feel a little backwards, but they're pretty strong brakes. So be aware of which one you're using when you're riding this guy. All right, so on the front, it looks like we've got a selector switch 
Eco Turbo and then single dual. So I'm going to bet that this one changes whether you're using one motor, most likely the rear, or two motors, and it's just a toggle switch on or off. Same with this guy for Eco or Turbo mode. And then this is the bell for warning pedestrians of your presence. I don't know how effective that's gonna be if you're going super fast, <laughs> but we'll find out. Over here, you got a locking mechanism. There is a key insert right there and then like a little digital code. And then up here is the main display that shows you your speed and how far you're going. And also the throttle is attached to that too. So that's how we're gonna get this thing going. So yeah, oop, here's the keys. Ah, this is showing us our voltage, okay. So our current voltage is 57.3. This is a 52 volt battery pack. When it's all charged up, it goes to about 58.8 volts, if I remember right. So we're looking at a pretty good size for our capacity. Go ahead and turn on the scooter. Oh, look at that color display. That's really nice. Got some neon green for the speedometer, kilometers at the moment. Total zero odometer, nice bright forest green for the battery. It says gear one, I'm assuming that's for turbo or eco. Let's go ahead and press that button. No, nothing. Doesn't change the display at all, let's go. Okay, these two buttons don't seem to change the display, so you're gonna have to, I guess, feel that for yourself. Pressing the mode button. Okay, one, two, and three. That might be the cap speed, the cap for the top speed. So let's go ahead and switch it to I think we're in single motor, and then I'll try to hit the throttle a little bit. There we go. There it goes. Hey, look at the brake lights. Awesome. So perhaps you press and hold the mode button. Yep, there we go. Now we have the rear lights in the back. There's these two really bright LEDs on both sides. We also got a light up in the front for both sides. One there, one on the other side. Squeezing on the brakes, that will make the rear lights flash. So it's got a fully functioning brake light. Now to my surprise, these are not lighting up. I suppose these two bits are just reflectors. I don't know if they're, well, it kind of feels like there could be a wire. No, no, there's no wire going to this. So um, yeah, this is a reflector and I'm sure the other side is as well. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights. So these two are reflectors. The actual lights are back here. So yeah, let's go ahead and tighten up these sort of guys and then we'll go from there. <laughs> we are, oh, feel that suspension. Look at it go. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like a pogo stick. <laughs> Woo. All right, so the build for this guy was incredibly easy. We are ready for our first ride. I think I'm going to be adjusting the suspension right here. I kind of want to go over the brakes a little bit. These seem to be a little loosey, but we'll see what it comes out to. Uh, also the front suspension up here, I'm going to be do goofing with that a little bit. So yeah, we'll go over that, but it feels pretty solid, pretty, pretty solid all the way around. Let me show you some of the other stuff that it came with. Of course, we got stickers, more stickers. These are caps for the axle. There's two sets for both the front and the rear. So the little cap will go on there to keep it looking nice and also prevent it from bashing into something in your garage. Of course, we got the owner's manual. This is part of the charger. This is the other part of the charger, which is great because we got a 52 volt charger with a nice secure plug on there that even screws in. So that's really nice. Spare tube, which is good news. Definitely want to have one of those on hand. And then something that was quite surprising to me was some different stickers for uh, for the platform. I'm not sure what you call it, the plate. So we got our American flag design. We've got <laughs> we've got like Blackhawks or helicopters. I'm not sure if it exactly is a Blackhawk, but helicopters and of course this uh, graffiti style for the Varla scooter. Uh, I like this one the best, but already from the get-go it has this Ghost Rider sort of thing, the Flaming Skull, which I must say is incredibly fun. Not my personal style, but 
let's see what we can get away with, shall we? This would be great. Aside from your set of keys, which are responsible for turning the whole thing on, you got your eco and turbo selector, your dual or single motor selector, of course the bell, your display. Go ahead and turn that on real quick. Really like this display, nice bright colors. I was not expecting a display quite this nice. And yeah, whoa. <laughs> it really goes. And I think, I think I wanna put this on there. I might just peel this one off, this Ghost Rider. Put that one on there just like that. That's gonna be fun. So the scooter already came with extra grip tape designs and the spare tube, but there is even more added accessories that we've got in this box right here. So let's go ahead and cut it open. Take a look at what we've got. So in here is one of my favorite accessories, oh, I can tell you already, a seat. The platform is down in there. So there's the seat. Let's get this. Ooh, this is the front bag. So that's gonna go onto the scooter right there. And then we've got, aha, an added front light. That's gonna be sweet. We'll crack that open. And then at the very bottom, we have a platform for the seat. So that platform is gonna go right around there. Figure this guy out. It looks very stable. It's very quite heavy. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these on. There we go. Okay, so you gotta kind of bow it just a tiny bit to make sure that it bites on both ends. It doesn't rest into position. You gotta really cinch it down nice and tight, which is a good thing. You wanna make sure that of all things, your seat is nice and tight. Let's see if we can clamp it. All right, so if you look up here, this actually has a suspension aspect to it. Right in this part, it compresses as you go over some bumps. So aside from the dual suspension on the scooter platform itself, you also have a suspension here on the seat post that kind of collapses in to absorb some of the bumps. And that's on top of this saddle, which is already kind of wide. Let's go ahead and take a look. This saddle is actually pretty wide and deep, so it has a good footprint on it and also some depth to it with the springs inside. So this is gonna be really comfy. All right, let's take a look at the Rechargeable LED brake light. Crank that open. We have the light itself. Ooh, a very solid light. Ooh, look at that. That's nice and bright. Oh, goodness. A little too bright for my eyes. <laughs> All right, and then we have, I'm sure the mount is inside of this box. Okay, so we've got some rubber spacers, a couple different sizes. Recharge cable and then the mount. So we can either go with the dual mount that'll put it right in the center, or we could go with the single mount if we want to put it offset. I'm going to go with the dual mount. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, next up is this box. I wanna call it a box, but it's a bag. So it's got the hard shell on it. it. Has a zipper that even prevents moisture from coming in. Don't think it's waterproof, but pretty water resistant. And I wanna say that's actually reflective. And then opening this up, it's got a couple of compartments with little net mesh, two net mesh, and then one just separator in between. And of course it has the contours to go around the stem and the straps to go around the scooter and everything. So let's go ahead and Strap it on. All right, so now we have the light installed and also the bag, the front bag. 
One thing I noticed is that this has a ton of extra space on the strap, so you could probably mount it even lower if you wanted to try to either keep the weight low or keep things a little more accessible. I think that's kind of what they want, is that you want to have options. So you can put it up here, or you can even put it probably down there all the way if you really wanted to. These are pretty long straps. In this case, I might even trim them and then maybe kind of finish off that edge a little bit because I kind of like it high. I think it just kind of matches the look a little bit more clean. But yeah, these are the main accessories, the bike bag, the headlight, and also that really comfy seat. So thank you for watching this build of the Varla Eagle One. We're actually going to do a full review on this scooter and find out just how awesome it really is with all the gory details. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. Big thanks to Varla for sending out this unit as a sponsored post. I'm Mikey for Blue Monkey, and I will see you on later.